Good morning, welcome to our sixth meditation. Ponder these seven aspects of God and realize that really only these seven aspects or these seven synonyms keep us on the straight and narrow path, the straight and narrow consciousness that truly is God consciousness, the consciousness of oneness. The first aspect is one and oneness. God is, therefore all is one and oneness. Let's rest with this alone for some minutes together. God is one, oneness, with no and, no thing, no object, no name, one for its self alone, oneness for its self alone. We are spending just a few minutes with each of these seven aspects, but truly, truly, we can spend hours, even days, even weeks with each of these aspects. And in that way, you'll discover 
an ever deepening understanding and actual experience of, in this case, oneness and of the other six aspects as you continually meditate and be silent with it. So please do that, even though we're spending just a few minutes today with each of them. The second aspect is incorporeality. God is incorporeal. And because God is all, all is incorporeal. There is no corporeality, only the incorporeal is. We are having a corporeal sense of the incorporeal. That is all experience is, a sense, a corporeal sense. And so lift now into the realization that God is, therefore all is incorporeal. God is infinite, infinity itself, the infinitude itself. And besides infinity, there is none else. Because God is all, infinity is all. There is nothing but infinity.
Remember that these realizations are to be taken into every strand of your life. Every strand. Therefore, as belief may wish to say, there is more than one. There is multiple. There is corporeality, not incorporeality. There is finiteness, not infinity. We must take truth into these strands of awareness, these strands of belief, experience, and know the truth. Bring the living truth to every experience, every strand of life. And so with infinity, as with all of these, we remember all is infinite. All is the very presence of infinity itself and nothing is finite. Let's rest with this. The fourth aspect of God is omnipresence. God is omnipresence, not local presence, not personal presence, not objectified presence, but omnipresence. And that omnipresence is incorporeal, 
infinite omnipresence, the presence of oneness alone. Therefore, all is omnipresence. Despite what presence appears to be as observed through the mind, as observed as experience, it is, all is, the very presence of God, omnipresence. If you see me, Jesus told us, you see the Father who sent me. Omnipresence, oneness incorporeality, infinity, the Father that is me, is all. And so take omnipresence into consciousness now. Omnipresence. God is, therefore, all is omnipresence. Not local, not personal, but omnipresence. God is omnipresence. The whole of God is fully present here, everywhere, simultaneously. Nothing is separate from you. Nothing is apart from you. In fact, the whole of God is closer than breathing, is the very truth of your being before the sense of mind, before thought, before 
experience. There is God and the whole of God with nothing separate, nothing distant, nothing unobtainable, but all here, fully embodied, fully manifest, already as you. And so rest a little more in the realization of omnipresence being the only presence. God is omnipotence, the one power, the only truthful, real power. Nothing but the one power exists. Nothing but omnipotence is witnessed. There is no activity. There is no movement. There is no force other than the one power being witnessed. Drop belief, drop false interpretation, simply by leaving it alone and lifting into the living realization of the presence of one power and that presence of power being the only power. Take that realization of one power, omnipotence, into every strand of your life. Do not accept what appears to be a different power, good or bad. Accept only and live by only the one power of truth, omnipotence itself. Only omnipotence is.
God is omniscience. Only divine intelligence is. Only divine wisdom is. Do not accept anything less than the one omniscience as all embodied intelligence, all form, all activity, all presence. Only omniscience is. And because of that truth, there is no discord. There is no disease, no lack, no limitation, no pain, no suffering, no separation. Only omniscience is. And because God is one and oneness, incorporeal, infinite, omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscience is the only. Rest now in omniscience being the only and then take omniscience into every strand of your existence. Live by omniscience and nothing else. Realize that every grain of your world, your universe, every atom and cell of your body, of all body, of all activity, of all function, organ, of all exchange, all amount, all presence, is that of omniscience itself. There is no other presence Therefore, there is nothing but omniscience happening as body, as world, and every atom, cell, and grain of it.
finally realize that God is eternity. There is nothing temporal, nothing. Life is not temporal. God is eternity itself, incapable of being temporal. Body is eternity itself, indestructible, incapable of being destroyed, incapable of being temporal. The world, experience, form is eternal, incapable of being anything less. And eternity isn't far off, doesn't extend off into eternity as material consciousness would believe, but is all here. The whole of God is here now, omnipresent as you, as every grain of your experience, your universe, as all form all activity and so rest with the truth of eternity being the only experience the only life the only body the only form the only activity the only world
pondering these seven aspects of God keeps you on the straight and narrow. The straight and narrow that is the labouring in the fields that Jesus spoke of, that produces the rich harvest. The straight and narrow is where God is, is what God is, and is where all the treasures, the fruits, the life, the freedom of tangible existence exists. And so know that as you adopt the discipline to ponder really only these seven aspects of God, as we heard in class, go much further out from these seven aspects and you're beginning to tread on dangerous ground because the mind becomes a multiple instead of a beautiful oneness, a beautiful straight and narrow oneness of realization. And then, as you take these seven aspects out into your entire experience, refusing to accept any appearance other than God itself, and specifically these seven aspects of God itself being what you are experiencing despite appearance, being the form, the activity, the amount, the person, the condition, the situation, the place, despite what may be appearing to the sense, then you are bringing God into experience. You're being the God consciousness as experience. And very quickly, as you're also silent many, many times throughout the day and night, very quickly you see God as the image and likeness of itself, that self you are now being by staying on the straight and narrow and by being the silence of being so that God can be perfectly visible and real through that silence. You see the image and likeness of God form instead of the pairs of opposites form. And there is life, there is harmony, there is abundance, there is freedom, there is truth, there is peace as experience. As always, realize I'm with you 24 hours a day, maintaining much silence throughout each day and night, lifting, illuminating, helping you stay on the straight and narrow, and lift your consciousness into that maintained God consciousness that is the miracle of life. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the morning.